I'm wondering, do the rest of you think, I don't think that almost all high school students should get more education after high school? Has anything I've said indicated that to you? Has anything I've said indicated that somebody who scores 900 or 1,000 in the SAT shouldn't get more training after high school? I hope not, because I don't hear myself saying anything like that. Almost all kids should get more training after high school. They shouldn't be in the straight jacket of a four-year degree. The problem is not education. The problem is that piece of paper called the BA. Imagine an educational system where test scores go away, okay? No more SAT, that's fine with me. You can judge on whether a student should be in a given course by, if it's a math course, you have an entrance exam for the math course. If it's a Russian literature course, you just make sure they can read well enough to read uh, the translations of Russian novels. I don't care. That's fine. But no more degrees, and students are learning what they feel that they want to learn and need to learn. Okay, shall, we talk, shall we talk about a market-driven system? I am talking about a perfectly market-driven okay, system. Okay, but practically, so you have all these 18-year-olds graduating from high school. Many of them don't have a clue what they want to do. Mm -hmm. How do they find their certificate program and enter it, and where is it? For those kids who are at the very top of the ability distribution, I'm not talking about the kids that are it's problematic. Let's talk about the kids who get 1600s in their SATs. They don't have a clue in most cases, or at least an informed clue, about what they want to be. Get the hell out of the bubble. You've grown up in, in these cases, Tony's right about this, usually in upper middle class homes. You've gone to good schools. All the people you know are exactly like you. Get the hell out. Go get a job. Go into the military. Take some time to grow up, because college campuses really aren't that great a place to grow up anymore. Then go back. And uh, at that point, you can experiment with things that you've already learned that you might like. You, you have some sense of why you're there. Quick anecdote, if I have time. My wife used to teach English literature at Rutgers. And at Rutgers, you have a, a whole bunch of kids who are coming back to school after being away. They've graduated from high school. They've gone into the military. They've gone out and worked. Now they're back. And a lot of them would find themselves in her English literature course. But they'd chosen to be there. And she, she would point out to me, long before I was writing this book, the difference between those kids and the 18-year-olds just out of high school. They were more focused. They, had, they, they knew what they wanted out of the course. And there is this added thing, which is true of all aspects of liberal education. As my wife puts it, Henry James wasn't writing for 18-year-olds. So that's my answer to you. No, no, but what about the average student who doesn't have the wherewithal to say, I want to go to Thailand? No, go or, get a job. That's what get, I said. So, so you'd apply that not just to the top, to everyone? Yeah, go get a job. 